Teacher Ninette here. Welcome again to another episode of Let's Learn Maths with Teacher Net. Today, we will be talking about angles. Angles is one of the most important topics in geometry. What is geometry? Geometry is the branch of mathematics concerned with the properties and relations of points, lines, surfaces, solids, and higher dimensional analogs. An angle is the space usually measured in degrees between two intersecting lines or surfaces at or close to the point where they meet. Now look at this class. Can you see the small dot? The black dot there? That is a point. Now a point in mathematics, we can choose any letter in the alphabet and we can name that point with one letter, for example, A. That point is point A. I have point A and I have point B. And if you connect that two points, you have a straight line or a line. Now I have line AB. Line AB. And I have another line, I will name this line, line CD. These two lines are parallel. What do you mean by the word parallel? If you extend the two lines, they will never meet because they are equidistant to each other. Now, line AB and line CD, in this example, they are not parallel anymore. In fact, they intersect, and they intersect in this point. I will name this point, point P. Point P is a point of intersection. If that is intersected from angles, you can think of an angle as spaces or shapes that are formed between the intersecting lines. This intersecting lines has four angles, 1, 2, 3, and 4. But instead of calling them angle 1, 2, 3, and 4, in geometry, we name them by the points used to name them. For example, this angle here, we can call it angle DPB because if you connect those points like connecting dots, they outline this angle. And this angle here, we can call it angle EPD because connecting those dots form that angle. Naming angles. Instead of saying angle DPB or angle BPD, instead of writing angle and angle again and again, we can use this symbol to replace the word angle. Now this symbol indicates angle BPB and angle BPD. To illustrate the other way of naming angles, let's remove all the points and leave only the point of intersection and the other point here. Now, let's imagine the line segment between this point can rotate around the point of intersection just like the clock hand that rotates at the center of the clock. Let's also imagine that the line segment rotates the point that the end leaves a trail as if a pencil was attached in it and the trail or path that left as the line segment rotates all the way around forms a circle. But, but we only get a part of way around it and it forms only a part of a circle. We call it arc. This arc can represent the angle was formed with when we rotate the segment from one position to another, like this line to that line. And now, if we shrink down the arc that is close to the intersection point and put a letter by it, like letter A, we have another way of showing an angle, angle A. And we can do this with any other angle. Angle up here, we can draw up an arc and call it angle B. Remember class, if you see a letter next to this arc, it is the name of an angle. Now, if I arrange these two lines in this form, it seems that at the middle of it, you can see a form of a plus sign. Now, this line is what we call the perpendicular lines. Per 
perpendicular lines are lines that form a square at a corner when they intersect. And this square corner angle has a special name in geometry because they are really important. We call them right angles. We even have a special symbol to show if an, right, if an angle is a right angle. Because they form a square in a corner, we use a little square instead of an arc that we use for another angle. So whenever you see a this symbol, you know that the angle that you're looking at is right angle. And the lines that form in it are perpendicular. The two rays of a right angle form like this. They are perpendicular to each other. Now what if I move that line, one line into a clockwise a little like this? They're not perpendicular anymore. But you can see an angle which is a little smaller than the right angle. We call it acute angles. Acute angles are the angles smaller or lesser than right angles. On the other hand, if I move the other ray of a right angle into the counterclockwise a little bit, they are not perpendicular anymore, but we see an angle which is a little bigger than the right angle. Any angles that are bigger to the right angle, we call them obtuse angles. So there are three main kinds of angles that you need to know. The right angles, the acute angles, and the obtuse angles. Thank you all for watching and I hope you learned something new about angles and see you again for our next video. Goodbye!